Hitler. <laughs> what? You can't say more than just <laughs> Hitler. Has only got one ball, the other. Do you know what it is? He's in the Albert Hall. His mother, the dirty scrubber, chopped it off when he, he was small. <laughs> she threw it into an old oak tree. Is that really how it goes? Yeah. It landed in the deep blue sea. <laughs> the fishes had their dishes of scallops and bollocks for tea. <laughs> Oh, welcome to this episode of Is It? Yes. It's very weird that young children used to sing that when we were growing up. Well, yeah, in the 70s, you said. But yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Which is baffling. Years yeah. after the war. Yeah. Why on earth were we singing, singing weird songs from the Second World War? I don't know. Very strange. I don't know. Yeah. Well, blast from the inappropriate the past. past. The inappropriate past, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, we, uh, I watched Valkyrie the other day. Did I tell you that? You did mention it. I did <laughs> Should we own up to what's happened? Yeah. yeah. The, the card ran out and we've had to start shooting again. So, we've done all this before. It's more fun the second time. Is it? No. No. <laughs> Should we just get on with the review? No, no, no. That was no, new. No, no. Um, we were going out. We're saying it's funny how you watch these films, especially war films, yeah. and you all, even though you've watched them loads of times, you still imagine that they're going to end a different way. Yeah. And I brought up the thing of Titanic. Titanic. When you watch that, you think, oh, maybe it won't sink this time. Always it sinks at the end. But it does. Yeah. If you haven't seen Titanic, sorry, we've ruined it for you. Yeah. Now, should we start the, uh, Let's the start. review? Yeah. yeah. Are you beading? Oh, I could be. <laughs> it's a tad hot in here. Anyway, um,. Do you want to mention how we're reviewing a compressor today? Or, or now no, you know it's not? You know what? what? That looks like one of those preamps off uh, off uh, the old how, tape machine. How could you possibly know that? Well, it's, just, it's just basic sort of audio knowledge. and Wow, skin, yeah. your knowledge is unassailable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Sean, carry on until the viewing several uh, about this uh, preamp. This is the Tone Empire APX351, which, in case you're not Dan, is a modelled version of the Ampex 351 preamp, which was originally part of a reel-to-reel -reel tape system made by Ampex. This was the preamp that preamped the signal before it got to tape. Someone realised it was just a nice preamp in its own right, ripped it out, put it in a rack, ended up in a studio, people ended up using it. Uh, and somehow, um, Tone Empire have modelled one, and I think they've used their AI stuff. Somehow they've used AI to do that. Mm. Not sure how. Anyway, mm. they have. How technical, Sean. How Thank technical. You. Thank you for the insight. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? It might, it might, you might just say you have. Yeah. <laughs> how would we know? <laughs> Not being funny. It's a bit like the whole modelling thing in general. I, I've been having some quite in-depth discussions with plug-in manufacturers about analogue modelling. Mm. And the whole thing... Is, is a term that has been completely misconstrued by mm. everybody in that, yes, there are some companies that actually uh, make digital versions of what the analogue components are doing in a piece of gear, piece by piece, put it all together, and then hope it sounds like the hardware when they've strung all these bits of code together. Mm. Apparently, it rarely does, needs a lot of tweaking, a lot yeah. of testing, takes months. There are other people that don't do it like that at all. They just use their ears mm. and make things that sound very very similar yep. if not the same yep. they're both analog modeling mm. neither one is right or wrong there are loads of different ways to do it interesting or not yeah. anyway so this is or was known by a lot of engineers as the holy grail preamp because you know it's got tubes it's got really interesting sound to it so it's quite nice to see a version of this crop up um let's just go through it as we mentioned before and we made a joke about you can choose your hard or soft there I choose hard. Of course he does. Um, there's an auto gain, there's a drive, there's the input trim, the output trim, there's the mix, the output, and there's some filters, and there's the Ultra X button, which as on a few of their other plugins, that just means oversampling. Um, the whole concept and process of using a preamp plugin is always a bit odd, obviously, because once the signal is already in your door, obviously you don't need to preamp it. It's basically adding color and saturation to a signal. That's what it's doing. That's why you would use it. Quite often you'd use it first in your plugin chain just to give it some vibe. Um, got to be said, this does give quite a lot of vibe. Um, it's, it's, it's nice. I've got a few different preamps. I, I 
quite often flick through them just to see if they're going to help a signal or not. This one, yeah, does does that thing. Sounded great. Fattened up drums, fattened up vocals, a nice sound. Uh, I put it into Plugin Doctor because I was curious as to what was going on with it because it sounded to me like it had a kind of a box tone. It wasn't just adding a little bit of saturation and harmonics. It was doing something else. And there appears to be a little bit of a 10K lift and there's a roll off very slight at 50 hertz mm. so it has got a little bit of a, a box sound to it um but yeah does everything it it should do it, it sounds interesting it's got that vintage vibe it does thicken things up um how does it compare to that front door oh very similar mm. less flexible right the front door had a bunch of different yeah you know, you could choose, couldn't you, between yeah, tape and I really like state. That. Yeah, I really like that. I, I do use that a lot. Yeah. It's similar. It's just another flavour, mm. to be honest. Um, I think something like this, it's always going to come down to price. Go on then. Well, just because we we've no, not why. How much is it? Uh, well, we'll <laughs> get there. We'll get there. But we've we've looked at some saturators recently, which are insane amounts of money. Yeah. But they do loads of different kinds of saturation. Yeah. And you're probably going to find one or two favourite settings and that'll be it. Mm. This this does one thing mm. and it does it, you know, it, it, you can vary it a bit. Yep. But but it, it, it's all right. So demo-wise, you get 15 days. Yep. So you're 14 plus an extra day to yeah, finish I, your album. I, I, thanks for the maths help there, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> well, as we established, you didn't go to school. So, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to help you all I can. Um, regular price, what do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. Um, I you, when you are well, you do ask me that. I'm going to go for. Do you buy it direct from them? You do. I'm going to go for it's fifty. Close, fifty nine dollars. Yeah. Uh, right now, twenty five dollars. Yeah, twenty five dollars every day. Yeah, every day. I think that is my my verdict on this one. Mm. Is that it ain't shit. Yeah. Because it's twenty five dollars. Yeah. And for twenty five dollars, you get a very usable, yeah. new kind of sort yeah. of saturation plugin. Oh, well done, Tone Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Uh, every now and again, I think they nail it. Yeah. Sometimes they go, uh, you mm. know, they go off yeah. off, off yeah. the radar. But this one, I think for that price, yeah, useful. Yeah. I still ask you the question. So, Sean, is the Tone Empire APX three five one shit? No, because it's not two hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, it's it's available right now for twenty five. Which excellent stuff. Excellent steal. stuff. Before you go and buy that, uh, please like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. You could even become a channel member. You can. Um, you could check out our Instagram on Studio Life 101. You could. Uh, there's also a Patreon. There's a merch store. There's the link to my mixing course, which is 40 quid for three hours, five video chapters. It's all down there. Very popular course. Very popular course. Okay, until next time, sayonara, suckers. Adios. <laughs>